let me show you guys my tag expired back in august this thing have a check engine light i just can't seem to get rid of as you guys already seen i repair all my leaks from oil leak to vacuum leaks and um i still have a check engine light i think i already figured out what the problem is uh when i first bought the car back in 2018 i replaced the high pressure fuel pump and i think it went out it's on its way out again and that's why i still have a check engine light I'm just trying to verify before I go ahead and order a new um, high pressure fuel pump. Famer link. Okay. This is the only thing I dislike about this app. It takes too long. So basically guys when you have um when your, fuel, when your high pressure fuel pump is on its way out the car usually don't pull as high as it used to but if you don't go into boost which I believe the N55 goes into boost somewhere around like 4000 um k rpms so if you just baby the car you really won't know you have a problem so usually when you cruising on the freeway and you flow it the car you said is gonna throw a check engine light throws you into lamp mood because your i guess your fuel pressure is not high enough to keep up with the turbo so that's one of the biggest same things you're gonna realize when your high fuel pressure pumps start to go out um sometimes you might have rough idle as well but i think this one right here might be my problem 28a so out of angle absolute pressure intake manifold compression too high i already clear it once and it just comes right back okay guys so the last time i replaced the pump i paid close to 500 now fast forward five years later they want a thousand data for a rebuild pump i think that's a little bit too much so i decided to order one of ebay my thought process is um is a rebuild pump from ebay or wherever else you order it so what's the worst that could really happen if it doesn't work out i can always send it back and get my money and it's only 150 and the pump is not that hard to replace so i decided why not go ahead and give it a try I ordered the pump from eBay. It got here in less than a week. All right, guys, here we go. Made in China. this is the common problem with older BMWs considering everything is pretty much made out of plastic over time things start to break up because of the heat so pretty much every time you work on one expect to break a hose
you have seven 11 mil that holds the intake manifold I'm gonna start with the one hidden Once you have the intake manifold I just went ahead and move it to the side you could remove the whole thing but in order to do that you have to remove the ECM or the DME your high pressure fuel pump is right here on the bottom this is a 13 millimeter bolt right here gonna move that you have two electrical connectors you just have to push on the tab and pull out get this out of the way you are going to need a 17 millimeter for the fuel lines. All right. There's two of them. There's one right here. And the second one is on the bottom right here. A lot of people usually use these everybody have these in the garage but if you are DIY guy or do a lot of your work yourself I highly recommend you got you get yourself some of these right here longer bits a little bit kit it comes with the little ratchet I'm gonna leave the link in the description from Amazon they're ready cheap they come in very handy I'm just gonna start off with breaking them to see if I can break off all three of them loose first before removing. All right, that's one. one on the bottom is a little bit tricky here to get to that's where you need the longer bit uh, 
Once you break all uh, three of them loose, you can go ahead and remove them. You also have to remove the E12 bolt from the bottom, for the bottom line. And the palm is pretty much ready to come out. Alright guys, I am not sure what causes the failure on this pump, um, but this is the, the new pump, which is a lot smoother, and this is the old pump. Which is a little bit tougher to rotate, and it sounds like there's something moving in there. I might have to take it apart later and see what the problem is and see if I can fix my pump. But as you guys can see, these are both rebuilt. There's like marks on the tab right here. There's marks on the top right here. And they look exactly the same. So I wouldn't see why it wouldn't work. So the pump is a mechanical pump. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to install it, but there is a keyway. So make sure you reinstall it in the keyway. I'm not sure if you guys can see in there. There's two slots for the tab on the pump. Once you have the pump installed, you wanna go ahead and reinstall the fuel lines, all the connectors that you took off. Make sure you double check everything, your fuel line on the bottom, two connectors right here, your fuel line on the top, this vacuum hose right here, your fuel line right here. And that should be it pretty much. The intake manifold is ready to go back on. So every time you replace anything that have to do with fuel, um, vacuum, um, you have to do a purge valve reset. And how you do that is you wanna disconnect the purge valve, which is right here. And 
gonna disconnect the purge valve and you want to start the engine and let the car idle for 15 minutes Let's see, I have a check engine light. Let's see if we have any fuel leaks. Alright guys, so these are the codes I'm having right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear them. Then I'm gonna go ahead and check all my connectors. I'm just do a screenshot of that. And then clear all errors. Second try. There is out the eBay pump is worse than my old pump. Let me show you guys. Lamp moon, check engine light. All right, so back to the drawing bowl. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to go ahead and smash that like. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.